I guess it's the first moving vlog. And this is all the craft stuff that I need to sort out. Got a box. Let's get going. But I'm actually pretty impressed with what I've done so far. Hello, hello, and welcome to. I guess it's the first moving vlog. I don't know if I'm going to title it that, but what I'm doing today is I'm going to attempt to do one of or three of three things, should I say. So I'm going to attempt to declutter my wardrobe. I have a big list of things I want to declutter before we move. It's now less than a month until we move, so I want to make sure it's done. My dad's just brought a box in for me to pack. I want to, so wardrobe is probably the last thing I'm going to do actually because I hate doing that. Then I want to do my art supplies and I have art supplies in my office. I have art supplies in this wardrobe and I also have like arts and hobby craft things downstairs. So basically I'm trying to declutter and pack the excessive amount of crafty things that I own. So I hope you like videos like this. If you do, watch out for more moving videos i will be doing an empty house tour i'll be doing like diy videos as the house starts to progress i'll be doing moving vlogs all of the above because these are one of my favorite videos to watch and when i moved in and out of uni i loved filming them so yes we're gonna go and do that wish me luck i don't really know i should start maybe i should start my office drawers a little bit more manageable or i know there's a huge box up here i'm gonna go get that actually also, it's so dark. I think there's a thunderstorm coming. Whoa, this big old box <laughs> has come to and from uni with me. And it's got a lot of things in it that I'm not quite sure what there is, so. And this was from Ikea, this box. And I worked with Ikea when I was at uni and I was so buzzing about it. Still buzzing that that happened. Um, I love Ikea. You'll be seeing many an Ikea haul, by the way, when we move. I have just random bits of stuff in here. I bought these to make like an autumn garland thing, but they're a lot smaller than I thought and I haven't yet made the garland. Maybe I'll make that tonight. I'm gonna leave them out. We have clear gloss sealer, display mount, and then just a bunch of stuff. first box and I definitely need a bin bag I'm gonna get a bag for donation a bag for just general rubbish and then a bag for recycling see this is the kind of person I am saving scrap bits of paper that I am never gonna use these have literally come to and from uni with me still haven't used them stop being a crazy hoarder Alice <laughs> Feathers everywhere. I've pretty much sorted this box. I'm gonna leave this just as like the random craft box. I think it's quite fitting. You'll have seen I put the extra bits of like scrap paper in here. And there's also, I think there's scrap vinyl in here possibly, but these are like from various projects so that's all together i've got bits of wrapping paper which i'm going to add to a box of like birthday cards and wrapping paper so now i'm going to tackle these let's just ignore the wire mess so i sorted these out relatively recently this bottom drawer is just full of like random stuff that's my stuff drawer this one has got greeting cards props for photos when we're taking photos for soul and fire so i guess this sort of goes with the wrapping paper but yeah, and then in here we've got like lino cutting, cricket things, stuff, <laughs> more stuff, but I am going to selectively pick out a few things from mainly this drawer. For example, my glue gun. I very rarely use this, so it doesn't need to be in a drawer like this, so this can go in here and I will remember where this is and I know there's like glue sticks and stuff so I'm gonna like just pick out those kind of things from these drawers and then go from there you know what that was literally it it was just the glue gun so I might take this box downstairs I know 
in the cabinet that we're going to use for our tv cabinet it's getting stored downstairs i know that is currently the random crafty area <laughs> so you know things like embroidery stuff that's not work but craft it's all in there so that'll need a whole box of itself so i'm going to carry this box down just fill it up so it's finished and then we'll start a new box <laughs> stickers, tape, and a sharpie. Let's get going. Is the cabinet that has all the stuff in it. It's covered up so it didn't get like some damage or whatever. It's been here for a long time, but under here is our TV cabinet. I'm obsessed with it. It was from a shop called One to One Furniture, I think. I'll link it in the description. It's called the Carver Unit, and they did sell it on other shops, but it was the cheapest where I bought it from at the time, and it's such good quality. So, yeah, I basically wanted one that was even on both sides. Like, I didn't want it to be, like, lopsided, so... Yeah, and then we got a big cupboard underneath, and this <laughs> is all the craft stuff that I need to sort out, so... I think I've made decent progress. This box is like three quarters full. So it's got like embroidery kits, paint by numbers, Lego, like just fun activities. <laughs> this, oh my God, I bought it the other day and it is so complicated. I thought it would be quite basic because it's buzz. Turns out my mum, who's like a pro at crochet, even mum can't figure it out. So I've just kind of packed that in the hopes that one day I'll work out. Kind of doubtful, but oh well. We've got a pile of board games and puzzles, which are going to go in their own box. I have more in the cupboard over there. We've got this game. Did anyone have this when they were younger? We bought it a couple of Christmases ago. It's like a bit of a joke present, and it's actually really fun. <laughs> then these need to go up with all my office stuff. Like They're like office-y books. And this is for donation. That's for Dad's Shed. That's the other box packed and I'm going to leave these out. This is like a table runner that I started that I might do, but it's so complicated. And then I've left my colouring stuff and this book out. This book actually, someone on Instagram sent me this and said it reminded them of me. So I bought it. It was on Amazon. I think it was like a fiver or something. It was really cheap. And then up here are just things that I'm going to throw away but I want to show you. So my boyfriend got me a 3D pen for my birthday. So this is some of the stuff we made. A little Christmas tree, all that. And then I also have in that box I've just packed Harry Potter origami. So <laughs> I've got this Hedwig, the hat, the sorting hat. <laughs> which is all cute so these were like fun activities to keep my brain busy but I'm gonna chuck them away I think that's it I think that's all I can do there is another cupboard in the living room which I might delve into but I'm actually pretty impressed with what I've done so far okay this cupboard I have no idea what's in here my birthday cards are still up but oh this is a mirror we have for the house it's just stored in here it's very nice it was from tk maxx but this little cupboard has become an overflow for my craft things and i have no idea what's in it because mum just put it all away so <laughs> this is oh dear okay so we built little harry potter houses when we were supposed to be on holiday last year but then covid struck so we bought these to do some crafts and then air drying clay paint oh god okay
now deconstructing this. It took me hours and hours to build. Bought myself it as a Christmas present, but obviously I don't need this in my house. I'm gonna deconstruct it, but I'm not getting rid of it because it's actually so cool. It's basically part of the Hogwarts castle. But the instructions were ridiculous. They didn't make any sense, but I, I mastered it. So I've had my time to admire, and now it's time for it to go back in its box. So I've got the box. I'm just gonna like deconstruct it into panels and then put it away. Okay, it's been a couple of hours. We went on our weekly stalk of the house and things have really progressed this week so it's very exciting my mum's making dinner so you can hear her like clattering but i've brought a box up it is now almost six o'clock so i'm either gonna pack this box after dinner or i'm gonna chill and then i'll pack it tomorrow i've brought up all those books that were like for the office and then i've got a big pile of books that i got for my birthday so they're gonna go in this box and I'm not tackling my wardrobe today. That's like a full day's job. That's not, that's not for today. Maybe it's for tomorrow. Maybe it's for a different vlog. Oh my God though, I can tick off the things. So this is my list. The other day I like powered through and did loads of these and I've just done craft supplies. Oh my God, that's all I've done. And I guess the top wardrobe in the office. <laughs> That's kind of half done, but I'm going to take it off just so we get the satisfaction. Ooh. Oh, I'm at that age where I make noises when I sit down. Hello, it's the next day and I have a lot of hair today. I'm going to use like the dressing gown belt hair trick tonight, but I don't know why I didn't do it last night. I'm probably just being lazy. I'm going to pack this box of books and then I'm going to tackle the wardrobe because I just don't want to put it off any longer. I'm going to leave like two out maybe just in case I get like a sudden urge to be creative. I don't like to think that I'm not going to have that option if I've packed everything. And I think I'm going to listen to Chris and Rosie Ramsey's podcast because it's great. If you don't listen to it, you need to. I fasten this box upside down. I keep doing that. <laughs> that means people are going to pick them up the wrong way. Okay, this is the pile of books. <laughs> I got these all for my birthday. If you can't already tell, my boyfriend loves books. Let's do a little haul. I got this set of books by Austin Cleon. These are good. I've already read this one. So I think I might actually leave the other two out. Maybe I keep carrying around this one to read and then I just don't read it. And we've got this one, The Art of Stillness in a Noisy World. This one my parents bought me and it's been on my Amazon wish list for ages. It's a book of Disney map and it's just so cute. I'm definitely going to use this as like a coffee table book. We've also got some like crafty ones that my boyfriend got me. So the art of gouache, getting started with gouache. And then he also bought me Windsor and Newton gouache <laughs> and then some paper for them. So I feel like I should probably pack those with my office stuff. Well, does this count as an office book? I don't really know. I've also got more books. Hang on. Okay, these are in my office. I have this. I can't draw. And it has like prompts to just kind of spark your creativity. I bought that when we were in the Lake District. I've got a Breathe magazine. I'm going to leave those out. Draw Like a Child also has prompts in it. I have done a few of these. You just open it on like a random page. I saw this in the works. Harry Potter knitting. I can't knit, but I know people who can, so hopefully they can teach me. Creative thinking. My boyfriend bought me this as well. And this one. You are an artist. I don't know which ones to pack and which ones to leave out. I mean, it's like less than a month away now, so likelihood is obviously I'm not gonna read them all. I'll put this one at the bottom, the Disney one, because it's huge. This box is gonna be heavy. Then, I'm definitely going to leave these out because I really enjoyed the first one and maybe we'll just leave it at that, just the small ones because what is the likelihood of me reading more than two books in a month? I went from reading nothing to now every night before bed I read my Kindle so I do have books on my Kindle, I've got Kindle Unlimited at the minute because it was like on a special promotion so whilst I've got that I might as well just use that, keep all my books in storage 
and then go from there. Is that a wise thing to do? I don't really know. Do you know what? I'm really anal about trying to fit books in. When I'm packing boxes, I think this is from coming to and from uni so much. Obviously, I moved into four different uni places. So when I pack, I like things to fit like perfectly. Like, I, I like there to be no wasted space anywhere. Oh, I've also got some brushes too. Really nice. And then this. I've never owned one of these. Got these for my birthday as well from my boyfriend's dad. Bookmarks, he must have known. And then this journal, which I love the cover of. It's so beautiful. Should I be fussy and split books or should I just put them all in this box? I reckon I'm just gonna put them all in the box. I also have this book. This is all about like interior design and making a happy home. And I've already read a big old chunk. I read that in like two days. And it's just so good. I love it. I've already like learned a lot from it. I don't know if to leave this out too. How many books is too many books for a month? Because at the minute, I've kept out these two. But I read my other one of these in like an hour. So that's only like two hours of reading. This is for my gouache, which I might want to use. See like painting and crafting is a good escape for my brain so I don't want to like indefinitely pack them away because obviously I'm not sure how fast we will be unpacking them and then the macrame because obviously I left that macrame out yesterday and the guide for it is in here so I think I just need to leave all these out I guess I can just pack them in a suitcase same with the paint <laughs> I think I'm just gonna have to leave that out already very heavy but I think I don't think there's any avoiding that <laughs> I might put my lino cut stuff in here stuff like this pens most likely not going to use kind of things in here little craft mat I actually have a brand job coming up where I might need that so that out really old watercolor paints I bought these when I was at uni more watercolors who used to use these at school they're such a throwback I don't think I can put this in this box. This is too heavy. You can go in. Now this needs to go in a different box. It's heavy. And I'm also quite worried it all burst open. If it gets squashed. This box is going to be so heavy. I don't know what to do about it. I got a little bit carried away. I was on a roll so I've actually pretty much packed everything that I can in these drawers. The top drawer's still got like medicine and stuff in it. Then empty all the way down apart from this one because it's got the things that are a bit too heavy for such a big box. And then this one's empty apart from the remote for the TV that's in this room. I won't be taking that with me. And then this one is going to be, like, these are like birthday cards and stuff, so they need to stay out. And this was too fat and heavy to fit in that box, so that, that'll be another box. I also need to put them somewhere, but for now, I'll just put them back in a drawer. So, we've made good progress. I've made myself up a little bag of, like, crafty essentials. So there's, like, paintbrushes, two pencils, a pen, some sellotape and then we'll just leave it out this is the solar fire pencil case if you didn't know it's very roomy so i can add stuff to that as and when i need oh i've just found this box of stickers let's put these stickers in here as well and this is the box it's going to be very heavy that's pretty much all my like craft stuff apart from those couple of big boxes so i'm pretty impressed with that along with the books that were already in there obviously oh and we need to put this on top and then this can go with that other craft paper that's down here. Cool, let's seal it up. Top tip for packing, write on the box what's in the box, otherwise you could just write like kitchen and you won't obviously know what's in it because it's very vague. Um, so I have these stickers which we've been writing what's in the box so when we unpack, do you know like if you're like desperately looking for like a colander and you know you've got one but you don't know where it is, we've written it on the box. So actually I probably should write that first before I seal it because I might forget. Okay. 
because I've randomly packed a lot of my office drawers I'm gonna call it a day on the packing in this video I feel like it's become very long so watch out for when I'm doing my wardrobe and all the other bits you saw on that list that I showed you yesterday I hope you've enjoyed watching me pack and I hope you've enjoyed the first sort of moving vlog I guess this is a moving vlog thank you very much for watching this far and I hope you're as excited for me as I am for the new house so excited I can't wait all right I'll see you next time bye <laughs>